Like, you legit can't make this up, y'all. Like, seriously. This guy, Israel Adesanya, he's having a mental breakdown right before our eyes. And I knew that this was coming. Guys, you know, I even I mentioned this, and I said that, you know, if this guy get knocked out, if, if he get knocked out again by Alice Pereira, I said he's going to start mentally just breaking down. He's going to mentally break down. And, folks, we're seeing it right before our eyes. So now, you know, he's talking about, uh, yeah, and we're talking about Izzy. He's still talking about that he's going to all, you know, still, you know, be that guy in Saw when he deals with Alice Pereira in the rematch. You know, this is just like Wee Lee. Remember uh, when Rose head kicked Wee Lee into damn oblivion? Knocked Wee Lee out. Wee Lee was arguing, talking about she wasn't finished. And, you know, she was arguing, talking about, you know, she still could have got in there and did something. And they stopped the fight too early. It's the same thing with Izzy Adesanya. Because Izzy Adesanya blamed the refs. And as soon as the as soon as a fighter who lose, and they legit lose. Because it wasn't Izzy wasn't coming back from that ass whooping on the fence he was getting, okay? He was not coming back from that. He was already, he, it was so many unanswered punches that you can go back and you can count the amount of unanswered shots that Israel Adesanya didn't return, okay? But he blamed the ref. He said, if I had a different ref, I, I'd still be the champ. No, if you had a different ref, they probably might have let you go into a coma, okay? That's probably what a different ref would have allowed you to do. So we know some things about Israel Adesanya that's true. <laughs> we definitely know his chin. He's a bit chinny. We know he's a bit chinny, and he can be caught. Oh, he can get caught, and he get caught, it's over. I mean, you figured it out. This guy's been knocked out. But his mental breakdown is starting to happen. Because y'all remember uh, Jean? Remember Jean, Jean Malay? You know, when she got knocked out by Rose, she legit, she cut her hair in a haircut similar to Rose's. But guys, it's not the first time this has happened. It's not the first. I mean, even Juliana Pena. When she got beat by Valentina Shevchenko back, you know, like years ago, when she got beat by Valentina, you know, Juliana was even entertaining, naming her daughter Valentina before her daughter was born. She was entertaining it. And I'm sitting here like, damn, like for real. And Juliana was like talking some weird stuff for months after that loss. But I guess it's, it's part of the game. And guys, maybe I'll even do research about maybe how many like fighters have mental problems i'm pretty sure the majority of the fighters on the roster got mental problems israel adesanya he ain't fooling nobody this man got mental problems this man has severe mental issues and this just added on to it the mental breakdown is in full display i mean first you know when people start denying that they lost a fight that they clearly lost that's the first sign of a mental breakdown and then, you know, you'll notice that the person start doing just sporadic stuff, just weird stuff, weirdo stuff, weirdo stuff that don't even make sense. OK, real life weirdo stuff, just crazy, 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 weird stuff that you're sitting here and you're thinking to yourself, damn, this person done lost their damn mind. And I kind of thought Israel out of sign was something wrong with him. When he started just, you know, like making like the rape jokes and, you know, how, you know, I'm a, what did he tell somebody? I can't remember who he told that, but he said, you know, I'm a, I'm a binge you over. He said something like that. And he told somebody he gonna rape him. Like, I don't, this guy, he's going through and he'll try to cover it up and try to, you know, act like he, you know, a badass and he'll try to, he'll try to act, but see, that's just a cover up. See, I already know. This man going through hell right now. Because you had the same guy. You know, pretty much you've had like this great career. Okay, you've been getting all that money from holding the belt. You lot, This man has taken everything from you. And see, this has been a, 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 a shit stain in your draws. This Alex Pereira. Alex Pereira has been a shit stain in this man's draws. He's been there. It's like Israel Adesanya is a great fighter, but. He's an amazing fighter, but. But that that Alex Pereira, Alex Pereira, he's still there. Is he? He beat you in kickboxing, is he? He beat you in kickboxing, is he? He beat you. Remember that? So Israel Adesanya, he would always have the luxury. Oh, well, it was in kickboxing. It was only in kickboxing. Okay? If it's an octagon, oh, octagon and kickboxing are different. See, Izzy would say that. 
if it was in the octagon, if it was in the octagon. Well, this time it was in the octagon. So what does Izzy say? It's the ref fault. What does Izzy try to do? <laughs> he tried to wrestle. He knew that this man was too strong. He knew. Israel Adesanya felt that first shot and he knew, oh, hell. This dude ain't playing with me. And when Alex, when Alex like took his best shot, wobbled Alex, and Alex got got I mean got himself back together again. Like Izzy was like, damn, what do I have to do to put this guy away? Izzy is gonna have a complete mental breakdown. Guys, you watch what I tell y'all. I predicted this when it came to Ronda Rousey. I predicted this when it came to Megan Anderson. Yep, yeah, and Megan Anderson. Megan Anderson had a mental breakdown. Folks. It, it, and I, I think maybe it is a thing in the MMA community. It's, it, it, maybe it's a thing. And maybe seeing a therapist for fighters need to be a part of their contract. Maybe. Maybe. I'm starting to think that a lot of these fighters, they have those problems. And then I think when it gets to the women, I think, I, I think it's even worse. I think it's even worse when it gets to the women. Mental health need to be a part of their contract. And I think if you're a fighter, if you're a professional fighter, and you're getting kicked and punched, and, and I think at least once a week you need to be seeing a therapist. You need to be. You need to be. Okay? I mean, it's just, I, I don't know. You know, and funny, you know, we just, we don't point this stuff out. But Israel Adesanya cannot deal with this loss. And especially to the same guy. Because, you know, he got to listen to people saying, well, he not on your level, man. He ain't on your level, man. But this dude came in and beat you in your own game, man. He ain't on your level. See, Izzy got to deal with that. Israel Adesanya, he got to deal with that. He, he I mean, he got to deal with it. And I think the problem he's having is dealing with that. I don't think this man know how to cope with this loss. I don't think he know how to do it. I, I think that he's... He's at a he's in a limbo. The walls are closing in on Israel out of sight. Walls are closing in. They're closing in on this guy. But we kind of knew, guys, we knew that this was gonna happen. Guys, all that is mental illness. You know, him, you know, beating somebody, knocking him out, and then he'll go up behind him and, and hump him in and behind. That's mental illness. Him making jokes about cancer, that's mental illness. It's all mental illness. And all it was doing, it was showing his ugly head. It was trying to expose it. But Izzy, he was trying to cover it up. All that stuff is mental illness. All the antics that he was doing. You know, just doing all kind of weird stuff, weirdo stuff. Mental health. This right here is more of his mental breakdown on full display. And folks, this ain't, this, this, this is not, you know, this ain't the worst of it. Oh, the worst is coming. You see, Alex Pereira, he's so far in the driver's seat now. This man literally has to sit back and do nothing. He don't even have to respond. He ain't got a trash talk. This man is already in Israel Adesanya head. He's there. He, there. he living there. He living there. And, you know, wouldn't it be funny if Alex Pereira just do like a, a, a meme, a knockout meme, or a, just a defeat meme? You know that I'm seeing Israel Adesanya into a frenzy. Alex Pereira can so far... Look, if I'm Alex, I'm going right at this guy. I'm going right at this kid. This guy right now, he's about to break. Israel Adesanya about to break. He's about to crack mentally. And all Alex Pereira got to do is poke the bear a little bit. Because you know you're going to make him make a mistake. He's going to get an octagon. He's going to be full of his emotion. He's going to be extremely full of all his emotion. And that's when Alex Pereira going to put the man out for good. I don't know. I, you know, I've always heard in fighting, and, you know, my jiu-jitsu instructor, uh, Master Lee, he always tells me, he said, you know, there's just some people you can't beat. And Master Lee was telling me, he said, no matter how many times, you know, I, you know, when he was going for his, like, I don't know, his, his red stripe, and he was saying that it was this one guy in his class. He said, no matter how many times or how many times he got close to beating this guy, he said somehow this guy just had some kind of, he had some kind of like a, like wherewithal to beat him in the end. He said there's just that one person that every time you challenge him, 
they're going to be your toughest challenge. They're going to be your toughest challenge ever. And it won't matter what you do. They're going to come forward. They're going to always be right there in your face. That's what he used to tell me. After he, you know, put me in a Kimura for the 15th time, <laughs> and then, you know, laughing at me. Then I just asked him, I said, damn. I said, man, Master Lee, you, you good at this jujitsu? I said, have you ever lost? He said, yeah. He said, yes. Yes. Yes, I have lost. But he said, this is why I'm so good. Because I have lost. I had to do an interview with him one day, man. Master Lee don't like cameras. But he was telling me that. He said, but he did tell me this. He said, losing can cause, losing can either cause you to be better or losing can cause you to bring out the worst in yourself. And this is so true when it comes to Israel Adesanya. I think losing is bringing out the worst in this guy. It's bringing out the worst. This man can't cope with what's happening right now. This man can't cope. He can't. He, he don't know how to do it, y'all. He don't know how to do it. And I don't know, man. Even Maybe some of his people, man. Somebody need to intervene and tell his boy to get off the damn internet. Tell his boy to get off the damn internet. Get, get your ass off the internet, man. Get off the internet. And go actually, you know, go sit down and talk to somebody. And then after you're talking to somebody, dude, just get back in there and go back to the drawing board. I mean, fighters in MMA lose. You know, nobody in mixed martial arts is going to be like, ooh, Izzy lost. Hell, we see people get knocked out all the time. But I think the reason why people are so hard on Israel Adesanya is because of the trash talking that this dude was doing. It's because of all the stuff, the antics, the cancer jokes. I think people are so hard on this guy because of that. It's not even the fact that, you know, this guy lost. Some of our favorite fighters lost. I mean, hell, Chris Cyborg lost. <laughs> And I ain't, I ain't, you know, I, I, Chris Cyborg lost. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay because, you know, Chris Cyborg rose again. <laughs> and I'm a huge Cyborg team, fan. Valentina lost. Valentina lost to Amanda twice. I mean, I, okay. So we rock with our fighters that lose over here. We, this ain't boxing. But people ain't, ain't, people are on this guy's ass right now. They're on his ass. And sometimes things that you say, well, it comes back. And you know, yeah, you said it, you said it, it comes back and you can't take it back. <laughs>